Ever wondered why some athletes seem to keep going without tiring? This could be due to a concept known as fatigue resistance. For a long time, the world of sports science has been focused on three major variables to predict athletic performance. These are VO2 max, which measures how much oxygen your body uses during exercise, lactate threshold, the point at which lactic acid starts to rapidly accumulate in the blood during intense exercise, and running economy, a measure of efficiency in running. However, these factors don't seem to tell the whole story. Enter fatigue resistance. It's the extent to which these three variables deteriorate over time. The less they do, the more fatigue resistant an athlete is. While genetics and environment might play a role in fatigue resistance, it's training that can truly make a difference. So, how do we train for fatigue resistance? Training for fatigue resistance isn't easy, but it's not impossible either. Let's delve into how we can achieve this. The strategies we're discussing today come from elite running coach Owen Anderson. He suggests spending more time training at your race pace. Now, what does that mean? It means pushing yourself to maintain the speed you aim to achieve during your actual race while training. This may sound tough and we won't sugarcoat it. It is, but the benefits are worth the effort. When you train at your race pace, you're making your training more race, race specific. This helps your body get accustomed to the demands of the race, building your strength and stamina. As you continue to train at this pace, you'll notice that you can maintain it for longer periods and recover faster. This is your fatigue resistance building up, a sign that you're getting fitter and stronger. Another strategy suggested by Anderson is reducing recovery time between intervals. This means shortening the breaks you take between your training sets. Initially, this might seem counterproductive. After all, isn't rest crucial for recovery? Yes, it is. But by reducing recovery time, you're teaching your body how to maintain a pace without proper recovery. This doesn't mean you should eliminate rest altogether, but try to gradually decrease your recovery time. Remember, at the beginning of your training, you will need more rest to maintain your race pace for longer intervals. But as you get fitter, you can start to gradually reduce your recovery time. This will help increase your resistance to fatigue, enabling you to maintain your pace for longer periods during your race. So, while fatigue resistance might not be the first thing that comes to mind when we think about athletic performance, it's an important factor that can significantly boost your capabilities. Remember, it's not only about how fast you can go, but also about how long you can maintain your pace. Train smart, build your fatigue resistance, and see the difference it makes.